Went to the league and couldn't meet expectations. Now that's a long list. A list as long as the guys that Freddie T left in the dust. And caps the next one on that list. Well, the combine will tell us hey, a little John, bit more than we need tomorrow. to know about this prospect. Well, when we get out of Indy, I'll reevaluate. But right now, I'm not sold on Cap. Well, Chan, you know what they say. They say stars are created, not born. And we'll be here from start to finish on Madden Cap. Hey, Cap. Hey, Nat. Man of the hour has arrived. Bet you're excited to finally get on the field tomorrow. I'm ready, Nat. I've been preparing for this moment my entire life, ever since I set my eyes on a football. Day in, day out. Now, I'm ready to put on a show. Listen, I have no doubts about what you're gonna do tomorrow. I just remember, everything you say off the field and everything you do on the field will account for you moving either up or down teams' draft boards. Only up. Believe me, no other option. Only up, exactly. All you gotta do is focus on balling out. And in the background, I'll be building your brand. I appreciate you being on my team. Of course. And make sure you get some rest. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you at the Combine. Coverage of the NFL Draft Combine. The quarterbacks are in action here today, and right out in front there, leading the rest of the QBs onto the field, is one of the most intriguing prospects in this year's draft. Even after a junior season with 4,600 passing yards, 50 total touchdowns, and over 600 yards on the ground, there are still some scouts who question whether Cap is a day one starter in the NFL. How things go today will definitely impact the way things play out on draft night. Yo, what's up, Rook? Hey, Jad, what you doing here, man? You making a comeback or something? For the record, I still had the best feet in the league right now if I got that call. But nah, man, EA wants me evaluating you rookies every step of the way to get your rating looking right. Oh, uh, well, listen, let me save you some time. 99, right out the gate. Come on, let's make a little history, Jack. Child, please. That ain't happening. I've already got an OVR in mind for you, but depending on how you perform today, I might be able to toss you some skill points. Well, listen, get your skill points and your popcorn ready, Chad.
this was one of the more disappointing performances we've seen so far here at the Combine. Question now is, how much of a hit will Cap's draft stock take? Another day of coverage here in Indianapolis is in the books, and it's still anyone's guess how things will play out in Kansas City on draft night. Hey there, my man. Man, you putting in a lot of hours. So tell me, how'd I do? Listen, I'm glad you asked. Look, I know you've been at it all day, but we got one more game to play. Guess your rating. So tell me, Rook, what do you think your OVR is going to be in Madden 24? Uh, I think I'm out of 75, but not for long. I'll be getting better every day. Hey, I appreciate the modesty. Not the case with most rookies. All right, so what's my grade then? got the next generation of NFL stars waiting to hear their names called. And this is shaping up to be one of the most unpredictable first rounds in recent memory. Big day's finally here. Can't beat that draft night feeling. Hey, life is good, Natalie. I'm at the NFL draft. Pretty crazy knowing my whole life is about to change. It is crazy, but you've earned it. And to give you some perspective on this moment and mentorship throughout the season, I brought you a surprise guest who might even help you loosen that death grip you got on your phone. Oh, you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Wow, perfect timing. Hey, Coach Prime, how you doing, man? Hey. What's up, boss? Hey, Coach Prime is here. Coach Prime. Man, you know what? It's really nice to meet you. After seeing what you did at the combine, I knew I had to reach out. Fortunately, we got a mutual friend. So tell me, right out the gate, any advice for me? I mean, nobody better than Coach Prime to help me take it to the next level. Well, you got to relax first and foremost. Enjoy the night, but as soon as it's over, oh, we back to work. And as a two-sport athlete and successful college coach, I think he speaks from experience. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be here to celebrate you, but I'm also going to challenge you. So tell me what you're going to be working on as soon as you hit the facility. I want to keep improving on what I'm already great at. To separate myself from everybody else. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. Now, you know I keep it 100 at all times. <laughs> Deal. Well, listen, it's about that time. Draft's about to start. Good to see you again. Likewise, Mr. Hunter. Look, we got some great times ahead of us, but let's get some business out of the way first. Good with you? Absolutely. Since we met back in March after the Combine, we've been hoping we have this opportunity to get you here full time. I felt the same way. This is where I wanted to be. Good. So, the terms of the deal are what we discussed earlier in the week. But I'll tell you what, why don't you take a look at the contract one last time before we sign? I think we're all good. Yeah, all good. Let's get to it. Let me be the first one to formally welcome Cap, not only to our city and this amazing organization, but to a brotherhood that is the NFL. 
Honored to be here. I'm ready to rep this city. Let's make it official and get a picture of you two. Take a look, Cap. Mr. Hunter, over here. Over here, Cap. Looking good, Cap. Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Packers and the Bengals, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Tonight, we kick off the preseason with a good matchup right out of the game as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A check down here to Jones. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Second and long. Being chased out. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. They'll drop the throw. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. The 
Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. They'll come out throwing here on first down. No, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Bengals are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie <laughs> wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it, because that's not what you want to The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. But for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Steps away. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They're going to look to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's a game that certainly had some intrigue, but I think you and I both agree. We like the decision to not play overtime in preseason and just call it a draw. Partner, I want to meet the person who disagrees with this decision, and I just wonder what took so long for the league. 